Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to hop on and do an in-depth video comparing a Gucci outlet item to a Gucci retail item. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil Ferla, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So the first thing I wanted to cover in this video is how you can tell whether something was purchased at the outlet. So this key case you can see right here inside has a little tag and that tag says Gucci and it says made in Italy and then you see the R on top for rights reserved and then you can see there a G in a circle. So that's actually how you tell whether something was purchased at the outlet. If it was, then the tag will have that G in a circle. So that's how you can tell uh, whether something was purchased at the Gucci outlet. But the items actually are pretty similar between the two, um, in terms of looks at least. So the first thing I wanted to cover today was just talking about some of the similarities between Gucci retail and Gucci outlet items. So you can see here I have a Gucci retail uh, wallet here and a Gucci outlet key case there. So both of these items are made in Italy. Like um, you saw on the tag in here, it said, um, it said made in Italy down there. And then for the Gucci wallet, it does say Gucci made in Italy right here as well. Um, both have serial numbers. So the Gucci outlet key case, the serial number is on the back here. And for the Gucci retail wallet, the serial number is behind these card cases here or cards, card slots here. So they do have, they both have serial numbers. Um, I don't know enough about like the Gucci serial numbers or like how to tell, maybe a serial number can also tell you between um, an outlet item and a retail item, but I don't know that. So if you do know that, please do leave a comment below and let us know um, what the differences are. So the other thing that's similar between the two is obviously they both have the um, Gucci Sima print embossed in the leather. You can see that the key case has the micro Gucci Sima print and the wallet just has the normal size Gucci Sima print. So these prints are actually very similar. You can see here that on the outlet item you have the uh, GGs that are facing each other and then you have two diamonds and GG and that's how like the diamond pattern is made. And that is um, true of the retail item as well. You have the GGs two dots, and then the GGs. Um, and that is actually a really great way to be able to tell whether something is um, authentic or not, is whether the GGs have two dots between them or two diamonds between them, um, because that is consistent across all of the Gucci, um, kind of Gucci Sima patterns, whether it be encoded canvas or embossed in the leather. Uh, both of them also have stamped hardware. So for the outlet item, the um, key ring is stamped. There you can see it says, Gucci and the back says and the back says made in Italy um, the retail items hardware is stamped as well the retail item because it's a wallet has far less hardware but it um, the button closure does say Gucci and you can kind of tell that the two fonts on these Gucci's are very similar so um, if you compare the font on the stamping they look very similar, so I would imagine that, you know, all of the hardware is stamped in one place, regardless of whether it is an outlet or a retail item. Some of the other similarities are the lining. So the Gucci key case is actually lined with a kind of nylon-y textured fabric. Let me show you here. So you can see, it's kind of weird to show on camera, but you can kind of see, like, it has like a grid kind of pattern. You definitely have some vertical stripes and then you have some horizontal cross hatching across, I believe. And the Gucci uh, retail wallet has the exact same fabric in its lining as well. You can see in there that it looks very similar. So it does seem like at least for the lining, they use kind of the same or very similar material for both retail and outlet items. The other thing I noticed is that the stitching is actually quite similar between the two. So you can see the stitches, maybe if I turn off the light you'll be able to see it easier. You can see those individual little stitches, like one, two right there. And the Gucci stitches on the um, retail item are exactly the same size. So if you compare those two, 
very, very similar um, in terms of the size of the stitches, which, you know, I mean, I don't know that that really is an indication of anything, but it could be an indication that these two items are made like in similar facilities or using similar sewing machines at least. But the items aren't exactly um, identical. So the first thing that um, really differentiates the two is the leather. So the leather on the Gucci outlet item, and I've talked about this in my other videos as well, it's a lot thinner than the Gucci retail item and it wrinkles a lot more easily. So you can start to see some wrinkles there. Um, even on the other side, you can start to see it's wrinkling right there. Um, so the leather is a lot thinner for the outlet item, whereas for the uh, retail item, you know, I've had this item for, uh, what, more than two years at this point, and there's not, you know, even a bit of wrinkling on the straight parts of the, the item. Obviously on the corners, or on the, like, folded edge, there's a bit of wrinkling, but that is more because of the, the design of the item or because of the use of the item, and not necessarily because of, like, the quality of the leather that they used. So I definitely, definitely think that the Gucci outlet leather is uh, lower quality than the Gucci retail leather. Um, that said, I did save a little bit of money by buying this outlet item instead of a retail item. So for example, the canvas version of this key case, it sells for $295. So that's a fair bit of a price difference because I bought this item for $239 plus tax. Um, so I did save around $60. And you know, and and it was two ninety five for the retail canvas item versus like a leather item. So I do think that um, that's really the spot where Gucci has saved a bit of money. But in terms of comparing these two items, it's actually really hard to point out differences because you know this item is a key case and this item is a wallet. So the next thing I really wanted to do was look at the design of a similar key case from the retail store. So the reason I actually got this item from the outlet is because I wanted the retail version in this exact leather, um, but it had sold out and it was only like an international product or something. So I did end up buying this from the outlet. So when I compare, you know, this key case to the retail version, there are a couple differences. The first difference is obviously the pattern. So the micro Guccissima pattern is um, exclusive to the outlet. So if you see something in the micro Guccissima print, um, I do believe it is a made-for-outlet item. Um, there are some other differences as well. So for example, um, for the retail item, the retail key pouch, the zipper actually ends with a little metal bit, and that little metal bit says Gucci. Whereas this zipper, you can see, it's just a straight zipper across, and then it gets tucked in at the end here. Um, oh, it actually doesn't even get tucked in, it just kind of ends on the end over there. So that is a bit of a difference as well. Um, again, I will insert a picture of the retail item so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. The zipper is also different between the outlet and the retail version of this key pouch in the zipper pull. So the zipper pull on this item is two pieces of leather. Um, relatively thin pieces of leather that have been stacked upon each other and you can see it has glazing on the sides here and they've just been stitched together and attached to the, um, the hardware on the zipper. For the retail item, it's actually a little bit more elaborate. It's two pieces of, I think, much thicker leather perhaps, all stacked together and put on the zipper pull. So I will insert a picture of that as well. Another way the outlet and the retail items are different is in the keychain. So for this outlet item, you can see that you have a just a normal key ring. It does have the um, like little, you know, it's stacked on each other. You have to slip your keys on like a normal keychain. It does have an interesting detail here of this little twist, if you can see that. But it is um, like a, a loop rather than something like a hook. Um, like something on a Louis Vuitton clay. So I'll insert a picture of what the um, retail keychain looks like here. The one thing that um, is the same between the two is the actual chain part. So the chain on the retail item does look exactly like this. It's kind of a chunky um, rounded chain. And the final thing I noticed um, with the retail key pouch versus this outlet one is there's a second set of stitches on the retail item right along the piping here. 
um, that the outlet item doesn't have. So that's like an additional labor cost basically that Gucci saved on the outlet item. I will say that I don't necessarily hate that it's, you know, that that stitching is not here. Maybe there's something in terms of durability that it will provide that maybe, you know, in six or 12 months time, I'll come back and say, oh, I really wish they'd added a stitch here. But, you know, for me, I feel like adding an extra stitch here will make the item much flatter um, and much less able to accommodate like larger keys or more keys. So I actually do appreciate that there's no additional stitch. But again, it is a detail that is missing from the outlet version of the item that would be on the retail version. So yeah, that is my comparison of a Gucci outlet item versus a Gucci retail item. Um, all in all, I would say that I think that the Gucci outlet does offer pretty good value in terms of having, you know, interesting hardware, similar lining, you still get, you know, a serial number, a tag, and everything like that. Um, but I will say, I do think some of the, like, more luxury touches are missing from the Gucci outlet item. In particular, the feel of the leather, I think, is really, really what's missing. Um, so if you were to ask me, you know, if I could buy this item or the item from the retail store, I would definitely pay more and just go to the retail store to get this very beautiful buttery thick leather that's really wrinkle resistant seems very durable um but i didn't really have that option obviously when i was purchasing the item so i am happy with this choice you know i wouldn't be able to find the retail version of this item in, in my country um in the u.s so i am happy um with my purchase and i'm looking forward to seeing how it will wear over time compared to my wallet so Thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you also have purchased something at the Gucci outlet and what you think of it, um, or if you have any other thoughts about um, outlet versus retail comparisons for other brands as well. Thanks guys. Bye.